Right, so welcome to uh, the 19th uh, Friday morning warm-up and we're going to start to warm ourselves up gently um, with a little bit of tapping of the foot, feet. So if you just get your feet tapping left, right, left, right, left. Actually, I'll put the metronome on. How about that? Uh, that'd be, that's a bit fast. I'm going to be running down. <laughs> You're running. Oh, still got some unmuted people there. So just mute you all. Okay, just uh, it, it, it's an option whether you tap your feet at the same time. It's good for the uh, coordination, but um, can mess up your clapping. So I'm just going to put on the screen the uh, clapping rhythm. Hopefully you can see that. Still going. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Now this is a cowbell pattern. One of many, of course. So I'm going to start clapping and just join in. One, two, three, four. Oops, good start. Here we go. That's it. And. Last time. Good, okay. Um, a little bit easier that one than some of the ones we've been doing in the past. But um, So that's a cowbell pattern. Um, morning other people who have just turned up. And um, did, you have a, did you manage to get your feet going and you're clapping at the same time on that one? Yes, good, that's more like it, excellent. Right, let's move on to the instruments now. So. Uh, pick up your instrument and we're just going to do um, whatever it is relevant to your instrument. So long tones on saxophones and wind instruments and trumpets and brass and so on. Um, maybe tremolo on guitars and bass or some other fixed pattern. And um, uh, I don't think we've got any singers here, but if you're singing, you can sing some long notes and some staccato, but you'll know what's best for your instrument. I'm just going to play a concert D, so you can play that note or you can harmonize it. And um, it's just going to be, a, I'm just going to play a regular beat, but you can play along in your warming up style. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Guitar, you can stop breathing when you're doing this sort of thing. and um, there we go. Right, um, next time um, we'll do that. Um, well, some of you may already do this, but it's good to actually think about how that note feels too, rather than letting your mind wander off to whatever, what you're gonna be doing later in the day, actually 
think about how that sound sounds to you personally, how it feels. Uh, possibly not how it smells, but um, you never know. There might be a kind of odor coming from your instrument. Right, let's move on. And uh, this time we're going to do the uh, chromatic scale. Um, the day's uh, scale, today's scale is D Dorian scale. Um, uh, so we're going to start on D for the chromatic scale. Concert D, of course. Uh, I won't repeat all the different notes for other instruments, but concert D, and we're going to do the chromatic scale. All the notes from that D up to that D. After four. One, two, three, four. Metronome on. Let's start again after four. One, two, three, four. And one more time. Two, three, four. Good. Let's do the uh, descending scale. So starting on the high D, one, two, three, four. And again after four, one, two, three, four. time one two three four that's it and in um, usual fashion we're now going to go up and then down again so up to the top and straight down without repeating the top note and uh, keeping all of the notes nice and even same intonation same length same volume uh, for each note after four. One, two, three, four. And down. Let's do that again. One, two, three, and for the last time, one, two, three, four. stuff and uh, that's the chromatic scale morning uh, Barry and John and Lois and uh, one or two others have just arrived that's excellent nice to see such a big crowd this is one of the biggest groups we've had 28 Wow um, okay let's move on now to the the rhythmic side of things and we're gonna put up on the screen now the um, the usual sheet of rhythms and scales and um, now I've introduced something new here. On those rhythms on the top line, uh, I've introduced an interval. So we're going to start doing that in future. So each rhythm will have a rhythmic leap in it. And the uh, leap in this particular case is the fourth. So it's moving up from a D to a G, concert D to a G. Uh, and the rhythms will all jump up and down in fourths. Um, if you, if you ever, um, so D, E, F sharp, G, or D, E, F, G in the case of this scale, 
Uh, a way of recognizing this, this is just a little hint for anyone who's nothing to do with the warm up, is um, if you um, imagine here comes the bride or sing, sing here comes da 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 da. That's an easy way of um, figuring out what a fourth sounds like. Because uh, I'm learning the trumpet at the moment, and one of the things I realize is you've got to know these intervals before you play them, otherwise, you don't find the second note. <laughs> Completely different to a guitar where you just go across to the next string. Okay, let's talk and we'll play. And we're going to do that first bar. Um, so on your sheets uh, or on the screen, the first bar at 80 beats a minute with a little jump of fourth. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the riff. I don't know if you heard that. Let's do that again. Uh, well, let's repeat it. It's quite a straightforward one. Two, three, four. And again. Okay, that's good. Let's move on to the next one now. So again, it's a, a rhythmic pattern with uh, intervals of a fourth in there. One. Two, three, four. That's the pattern. Let's play it over and over. One, two, three, four. Now let's put the two together. So bars one and two repeated after four. One, one, two, three, four. Um, if you want to, uh, if you can sing along to this at the same time as playing your instrument, if you're on one of those kind of instruments, then uh, that's a good thing to do as well. So it's actually to sing these little phrases. Let's go on to bar number three, and um, you might recognise this rhythm, um, not the melody, but the actual rhythm. But I'll tell you now before we play it. It's too late then, isn't it? Um, it's a, from um, America, Bernstein. Da 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 da. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yes, everything's good in America, so they say. Uh, yes, right, let's go on to the fourth bar. And um, so that was all uh, triplets, different kinds of tri triplet quavers and triplet crotchets in the previous bar. This bar has got some semi quavers in it, which do get a little bit quick, even at 80 beats a minute. So um, you could replace the phrase at the end with the um, second phrase, the middle little pair of waves if you want but uh, let's see how that goes and um, easier on some instruments than others so bar four one two three four <laughs> Last time. 
And now let's put bars three and four together. So this pair that bars three and four uh, and looped. One, two, three, four. one there but um you know nothing's hard in music it's just that we're unfamiliar so get more familiar with a pattern like that and it will be easy as anything so let's put all four together and uh we're just going to loop all the four bars on the top line up here we go one two three four We're warm. <laughs> We're warm already. So uh, we haven't even got onto our main scale of the day. So here we go. We're on to D concert D Dorian. The um, Dorian scale is um, some of you may know it as the second mode of the major scale. So if you took C major, for example, but started on the D and played all the uh, natural notes or the white notes up to the next D, then you've played the Dorian scale, D Dorian. And uh, it's used a lot in all kinds of music. Um, Carlos Santana famously does a lot of his solos using the Dorian scale, um, especially over minor sort of sequences. And um, I think that song Wicked Game, Chris Isaac, is uh, written in a Dorian mode. Quite a few songs are written in Dorian mode. So, um, oh, and a jazz, as amongst you will know, um, So What by Miles Davis. That's very much a Dorian mode song. In fact, it is this particular one I think. So we're going to do the first bar, the minor scale ascending. And again, I've just written it out in a rhythm just to make it more interesting than just climbing up slowly. So um, just the first bar from D to D through concert D to uh, D. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to slow that down a little bit because unless you've been practicing it, um, that's going to be quite fast. So, and again, a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's the ascending Dorian scale. Let's uh, descend. Um, so just the reverse, same rhythm. So we're doing the second bar now of that line. So from the high note, one, two, three, four. Three, four. And 
and uh, okay, now we're going to join the two together, play exactly as written. So you do play the top note twice simply because of the way it's been written. And one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the uh, Dorian scale itself, and now um, really just for a bit of uh, information, I've just put the minor seventh arpeggio next to it, which is the um, the relevant um, minor seventh chord, which the two will be played together. So on a song like um, like So What by Miles Davis, um, the chord will be D minor seven. <laughs> And the scale that will be used for improvising will be that D Dorian scale that I've just mentioned. I mean, they obviously play other things as well, but that's a sort of a, a starting point. So we're not going to look at that. We're going to move on now to the Dorian scale in intervals, the next line down. So uh, Dorian scale in intervals. This simply means we're going to work our way up the scale, but always returning back to the root note. Um, well, you can see um, there how it the pattern um so we're just going to go start on the d go up to the e back to the d then up to the next note the f and so on rising intervals and one of them will be here comes the bride where's that uh oh in the second bar yeah <laughs> you can see the interval of a four um here we go so the whole of the line dorian scale in intervals one two three four Okay, let's do it again after four. Two, three, four. And just one more time. scale in intervals starting with just looking back on that you, the first interval is the second the next one's a third or a minor third uh, then a fourth then a fifth then on the third bar it's a sixth and a seventh and on the last bar it's up to the octave so that's really what's going on there so all the intervals of the scale in that pattern um, now I did say right at the beginning we were doing fourths in the intervals of the rhythmic ideas um, and this is the Dorian scale played in fourths so you we're going up the scale I don't actually complete it all it's kind of just a little um, part of the warm-up really but um, you can always extend it but um, we're starting on the root note we're going up a fourth then back to the next note of the scale up a fourth from that so each of the jumps is a fourth and uh, Let's just play it. That'll be easiest. And um, diatonic, by the way, if you're not familiar, just simply means that the notes are all from the scale. They're not necessarily all identical fourths. So I think one of the fourths will be different. So here we go. The whole line of the. Uh, let's put that in the middle of the screen. The ascending in diatonic fourths. One, two, three, four. <laughs> sound there we go and again two uh, sorry it's again one two three four oh 
One more time. After four. One, two, three, four. Uh, there we have it. So we've uh, combined the Dorian scale with fourths, and they do often go together. There's quite a bit of music written which is in Dorian key or scale, and uh, fourths are used a lot. That slightly different sound to the thirds. Um, <laughs> just finished off with that little phrase at the end there, a little riff. I don't know if anyone... Um, no, I can't see you all. If you want to unmute yourself, if anyone's actually tried playing that and can tell me what that tune is, just, um, just. I'm playing it, yourself. but I don't know what it is. <laughs> you recognise it, but you don't know. Yeah, okay. If you're of a certain age, that's uh, my age, <laughs> you will remember it as a kid. I'll, we'll play it first of all, then I'll see if anyone else um, recognises it. So um, here we go. I just got. If you if you're a good reader, just read it straight off the page. Otherwise, listen to me and uh, two, three, four. It's a little motif from anyone now recognize it? It's the theme tune. Go on, someone's gonna have a go. Was it Rainbow? Robin Hood. No, it's actually a well, I believe because I can't, um, I believe it's a theme tune to the Tokyo Olympics 1960. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, go and listen to that. It's all in 19 when. Sorry. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, yeah, so I'd have been, um, I'm, 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 I'm probably about nine at the time. Uh, it's always stuck in my head, that unusual sort of in use of force. I didn't, uh, at the age of nine, I wasn't thinking, oh, those unusual use of force. But uh, I've come to realise that afterwards. Anyway, let's move on. And uh, we've just got one more thing to do, of course, and that's just to do our little strum along to finish. So, um, good. Nice to see so many smiling faces when I unshare and... Uh, um find the chord sheet so good right usual thing uh, i'm going to put the chords on the screen and we're going to a little strum along this is the chord sequence in the dorian key so you've got lots of options you can play the chords you can play the chord tones you can improvise using the dorian scale if you want to um or just sing along or do what you like and uh, i'm just going to strum it along in a slightly folky sort of way so one, two, three, oh, sorry, uh, one bar per chord. One, two, three, four. One more time.
finish on the tonic. Uh, D minor, in other words. And there we have it. Nice little uh, melodic um, Dorian chord progression. Good. Right. Well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that and you're feeling nice and warm and ready to get even hotter outside. And uh, again, as I said before, nice to see so many of you here and um, I've enjoyed it. I hope you have had it as well. All Indeed. I can say is see you next yep. Friday. Yep. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very Thank much, you. David. Thank you, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Val, Pete, Val and Pete and you, look out for the music for tomorrow. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that.